We're here with head coach Jay Vidovich following a 2-1 win against Clemson in a double overtime thriller. Coach, can I get your initial thoughts on the match? I'm just uh, tremendously proud of the effort of the guys, uh, the mental strength that they had and they displayed. I'm just uh, very impressed with that. I'm uh, just happy for them. Kiza was huge for you in this game with both, with both goals on the night. He's now at eight on the year. How important is it to have a player that's capable of putting up such a big performance offensively? Hey, it's uh, for sure. He's he's been a difference in a lot of games. You know, game winners uh, are coming for him. He is a beast. You know, he played uh, the full time. He didn't come off the pitch. Uh, handled himself against two very good center backs. Uh, did a tremendous job. Kept forcing in. Got a couple other looks at, at goal as well. You know, some half chances and uh, one that was called back that uh, I can't wait to see on video. But. Uh, yeah, he's a beast, uh, tracking, putting pressure on their backs the whole time, and uh, to get in and get a chance like that, just uh, just happy, happy of his improvement and what he's doing for our team. You now have two ACC wins in what's a very competitive conference. It's matching your total from last season. What type of growth have you seen from this program since you came to Pitt? That we can win these games. You know, uh, tonight's game was... Uh, it's a very difficult one. You know, there are times where Clemson really had a stretch and had the better of the match. But I think uh, our guys have learned. You know, the culture is getting stronger. The mentality was stronger not to cave in. And then they, they believed in themselves that they would find their chance. So to see the, you know, that we can play against with top teams, we've done it all year. Uh, but now to, to find a way to win in those games, that's, uh, that's the next step. So uh, yeah, just tremendous progress. And we just keep uh, hoping to find a little bit better uh, each game as, as we go through the rest of the season now. And after Tuesday night's victory against Columbia, you talked about stringing wins together. You've done that now. So what do you want this team to take away from these two wins heading into Monday's match with Cleveland State? Well, I think the expectations of uh, how to start a match, how to, how to start a second half, how to, how to finish in overtime. I think there's an experience of uh, how, to, uh, how to control the game mentally, how to manage the game. Uh, that, that mental fitness is, is just key. Because uh, they were doing it, they're coming back on uh, like 48 hours, you know, and the same thing will happen on Monday. So it'll be another big challenge. Uh, the, the Columbia game, it, coupled with this one, is just, a, like I said, it's just a challenge. I mean, like physically, emotionally, uh, the quick turnaround. So uh, I'm hoping that they can stay strong and go on in and give a start the match very strong and uh, improve once again on uh, holding the ball, keeping the ball up more, and making the other team uh, work a little bit harder.